textures. In this video, I'm just going to show you about layer comps and in particular with styles and pattern overlays. One thing I've often have with my patterns, I create lots and lots of patterns and I want to save them to a particular file. And you can go through, sort of create a pattern layer, save it, create a pattern layer, save it, and so on and so on. But there's a quicker way of doing it that. And of course, you can actually use this approach for other things as well. So, so it might be useful in some other projects. So, right, what I'm going to do now, and I'm going to use graphicextras.com, some rosette designs. And first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to get rid of that, and I'm going to go to new new layer because this is the what I want for the comp. And to actually see the layer comps, just go to window and layer comps. Create a new layer, just going to fill the layer, so uh, just fill it with something. I'm just going to go for white. Now, just going to go to layer, layer style, and pattern overlay. And here's the pattern, um, just to get it on the screen so you can actually see it. My budget is going to set that to 10, seems to work best, but obviously, depending on the pattern you've got, so you might have different patterns. But this is a, one of my patterns. And got a whole selection of different patterns. So what I want actually is to put all and then save them as a PNG file at the end, or of course PSD, etc. And you can also export them to PDF as well. Okay. So I've got this pattern, initial pattern. I'm not going to add anything else, so I'm just going to click that. Now, what I want is to create a new comp layer, and you could do it over here on the menu, but just click down there, it's probably quicker. Come up with an option, obviously give it a name if you wish, but I'm just going to go with default. Visibility, position, appearance. The one I really want is appearance. Defaults normally to visibility. So now that's been saved. Now I can actually just go over to the pattern of A, double click that, bring up dialog, just quickly select that, click OK. One thing with Photoshop is a lot of dialogues. I really wish that it was done differently that, but anyway. Dialog City. Click OK. So that's saved now as a, another layer comp. Double click again. Comes up with, and I just quickly click OK. And I can do it there as well, of course. New layer comp. Click OK. And just going to select another one. Click OK. New layer comp. Click OK. And just one more. Just one of the designs. Click OK. OK, that's new layer comp. Now, all of those comps have got the actual pattern overlay being saved. So you can actually just, just go there, just click on them, just go through, and you can see it just changes as you run through the layer comp. You can actually also go next layer comp, so you can actually just run through them that way as well go down there so you can just run through but that's not the point I'm actually going to go over now because the key thing is there's a script and it's going to go to file and scripts and you can actually do it to PDFs which is quite nice but layer comps to files so it comes up with a little dialogue yeah another dialogue and give it obviously a name rosettes PNG 8 I'm going to save it and Obviously, I could do selected, but I'm just going for all of them. None settings, and you can position, set it to a particular folder. New patterns, one I'm going for. Cancel, so I can run through that, and now automatically. So obviously, I could have like maybe 200, 300 patterns. Just quickly run through all of the patterns, pattern overlays, and once you've actually done that, it will come up with a little dialogue again, and. So there you have it. Over here, you've got all the patterns that have been saved to PNG files without actually having to do a slog going through save, 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 save. You can just quickly do it as a layer comp, and it's a lot quicker doing it that way. And of course, then once you've got that, you can then, of course, bundle them in, group them into another maybe PDF document or whatever. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Thank you much.